Hey everybody, Alex the Plot here from Expert Forex and in this video we're going to be talking about three new trading strategies that we are adding to the Profit Retriever robot. Now the Profit Retriever robot has received considerable attention over the last few weeks and I have produced a number of videos explaining how profit retrieval works and the concepts applied and please go and watch these videos I'm not going to repeat the content of these videos in this particular one there will be a playlist link in the description of the video as well as in the commentary of the video so you can go and watch the all the videos that are in this particular playlist and yesterday I made this video where I introduced one of the strategies that is highly neglected when it comes to profit Profit retrieval and that is the reverse martingale strategy and if you are interested in finding out more about that one again please go and watch this particular video and it will see the show you the results that you can achieve with that particular strategy and just to remind you this is a slide from that video where martingale increases lot sizing as transactions go negative what we showed in that video is that you can start high and decrease with even a better effect in that you then have full control this runaway increasing activity ceases because you have capped it at that level and you have full control of what's happening next so this strategy is is, is a quite a good one I, I thoroughly recommend that you watch this but this has introduced the concept of capping your largest lot sizing and this is what the three new strategies uh, is based on is capping the lot sizing so that this runaway thing that happens with martingale doesn't happen now if you look at the profit retriever at the moment you will see there are so many strategies in fact uh, the well, I've got 22 listed here there are actually another two there's uh, that one that I've left out and that one that I've left out so there's a huge amount of strategies that you can use with this profit retriever we try to make it an all-encompassing profit retrieval EA that traders can use as a tool to suit their particular circumstances and as you can say there are strategies there's different strategies you can close trades and op or keep them open directional strategies there's price level strategies you can increase or decrease or vary the price levels there's position sizing strategies which is what I'm going to be covering today and there are closure strategies where how much profit do you want to make when you close your open trades and then there are time of day strategies so there are a lot of strategies built into this profit retrieval EA really powerful EA and let's go on and look at the position sizing so position sizing as the EA was before yesterday was said that there are two strategies that you can follow you can start low like that's the lowest lot sizing and then you can increase it by and in this example I'm using a percentage based scaling and let's say you increase your lot sizing by 150 percent every time the price moves one gap size that means that we'll just increase 150 percent and then 150 percent on that amount and that amount and you could get a bit of a runaway situation as I've pointed out in one of the previous slides so that is not completely comfortable situation here's a better one which was presented in yesterday's video where you actually start high so instead of starting low you start high and you decrease your lot sizing so it will start there and decrease and decrease until it hits the minimum lot size that your broker allows and that gives you much more control there's no runaway lot sizing or anything like that so this is currently available through the existing version of the profit retriever EA by the way the testers that are testing the concept in yesterday's video are achieving fantastic results we're getting really good feedback from the forum members in terms of total profitability when traded as a portfolio and in terms of really smooth equity charts but now we've introduced a new concept and that is a, a concept which we call a limit putting a limit on your lot sizing 
levels. So in other words, here we start with the same example as before. Uh, you can increase the lot sizing to a limit and keep the increases the same. So I'll explain this strategy. So you start with 0.01. You then increase it by 150%. But now what we've introduced, we've said, all right, create an upper limit. So we're saying when it reaches 0.12, you no longer increase the lots. So if it's off, you don't use that setting, but if it's on, you uh, it will reach that particular setting and then it will say, all right, what further instructions do you have? What do you want me to do once I've reached that limit? Now, you can keep that setting, uh, th that limit repeating on your next transaction. So if you put in 100% there, what will happen? Your next transaction will go to 1.2. Uh, we'll stay at 1.2 and the next one will be 1.2 and the next one will be 1.2. So that way we have capped the, the loss that you can make by introducing this upper lot limit concept. So that's strategy one and that is the one where you increase your lots to a limit and keep the increases from then on the same. Then we look at strategy two, increase lot sizing to a limit and then accelerate the increases. So if you're an aggressive trader you'd You'd say, okay, we're starting there, we're increasing by 150%. When I reach that point, I, I want to actually put my foot on the petrol. I want to increase my lot sizing um, then. And uh, in this particular example, I've put in 180%. So, so the lot sizing will suddenly increase a little bit more. So that's a strategy that really does work with certain currencies and uh, trading approaches. Then the third one is increasing the lot sizes to a limit and then decelerating the increases. So in other words, here we go, we go up to, um, uh, you start at 0 0.01, you increase it to 100 by 150% again, again, those are all example settings and it reaches that point and then the EA will say, well, what do you want me to do now? And then you can tell it, okay, well now, now you start decreasing the, uh, the the amount so so there's an increase phase and then there's a decrease phase and that these are all strategies that actually work based on the market conditions that exist at a particular time so the trader can actually be very clever and use different uh, strategies to run this particular EA. All right, so this EA is not available right now. It has not been launched. Even what you've seen today is not available even in beta format. It will come through in the next uh, day or two. But I thought I'd just let this, the testers know that there are changes that will come to the EA that they're testing that will actually enhance their ability to manage risk considerably. And if you want to go and test this EA there, it is, uh, it's available for testing in our Advantage Forum. Uh, there's the EA trial, trial that you can go and do. And here, here is the information. We finished phase one. And yesterday, in fact, we started with phase two, which will run for one week. So if you want to go and have a look at this EA, please join this forum and then test the EA there. Otherwise, the launch will most probably occur in the next 10 days. And as you can see, uh, the, the testing has brought through some amazing risk management concepts. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned a little bit about profit retrieval techniques and I hope you find these new trading techniques advantageous to manage your risk when applying profit retrieval techniques. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.